Hello everyone, this is Paul with Jones in for Tools, live at the JFT Studio. Today, we are going to review the Icon Professional Precision Soft Grip, <laughs> Soft Grip Pick and Hook Set. All right, here you go. I have a lot of picks. The only reason why I bought this set is not for me, it's for my son-in-law. It's his birthday coming up, and uh, I thought this would be a pretty good idea for him. Uh, he has some picks, but they're the little cheap 99 cent Harbor Freight orange garbage ones. But anyway, uh, I seen this and it was a good deal. Uh, it was normal price, $24.98, and uh, I was able to get it uh, from Harbor Freight with the 25% coupon. And I think I paid like, I don't know, 19 bucks, something like that. But uh, but here they are. And uh, we're gonna compare them to um, uh, some of the other picks that I have. But let's, let's go over here to the toolbox and uh, pick them up. Let's see. Um, I have some picks up here. Some old Tecton and some, um, uh, oh, what are those orange ones? They're the uh, Mayhew Dominator picks. I'll get you a closer look. But, uh, but I have some, I have some other ones in, in a drawer. Let's see, I think it's this drawer. Yeah. So, so I did a review a little while back on uh, the Gear Wrench uh, Radiator. Uh, hose picks and uh, their their uh, picks but um, right now we're gonna compare them we're just gonna grab this pile of, of different picks all right so let's kind of compare them a little bit all right let's see what we got now the size on them now this is a Tecton So the size, well, here, let's take one out of here. All right. So the handle, a little bit longer than the Tecton. I noticed on the Icon, there's no knurling, or like, like on that one. Uh, I do like the handles though. Seems like they're a little bit easier to grip. And what I would do is I would put my thumb in this spot and I can manipulate it good. Um, but I, I wish it had some knurling in case I had to use two hands to twist it. But, I mean, that's not a game, I mean, uh, something to mess things up. All right, so, Let's see. Now, here's those cheap ones I was telling you about that my son-in-law has. But these are worthless. They bend, they break. The, this, I don't even know what the steel is. I don't even know if it is steel. It's just garbage. Um, let's see. We also have, this is the old Stanley. Okay, They're about the same length. This one don't have no early neither. But I actually, this actually has a nice grip. I like this, it's nice, comfortable to hold. All right, let's, let's move it on. This is another Pittsburgh cheapo. It's a hard handle. It's a little bit thicker than the orange cheap one. But, I mean, they work, but they're not that great, but, but the price is right. All right, and then we have the Mayhew Dominator. Now, these are by far my favorite. A little bit longer, it's easier to hold. It has an early, nice thick steel. Uh, but I think these Pittsburghs are gonna be pretty good. 
especially for what he's going to use them for. And I actually, I like this case. I mean, this is a hard, thick case. I think this case is going to last a long time. This is how the Snap-on and the uh, Matco ones usually come. But, uh, oh, anyway, that was just a quick video. I know before I buy something, I want to look at it. And this video is showing you what it looks like, the, the dimensions, and my quick take on them compared to other ones. Now, my son-in-law don't know he's getting them, so don't tell him because his birthday's still in a few days. So, but if you like this type of content, uh, do me a favor, subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, and share it. I appreciate you for your time. And, uh, and today is 4th of July, Monday. Um, it's in the morning. And I just, I, I just pray that you guys have a safe, uh, wonderful 4th of July where you can spend time with family, friends, and loved ones. And I wish you all the best. Until next time.